So this is the demo video for uh, your starter task. You'll need a ruler, pencil, sharpener, rubber today, and also uh, the couple of pages with the tonal facial features out of your remote learning booklet. On the left hand side of the screen now you can see the success criteria for our start task. We're going to be concentrating on the top left hand side of this page which is a, a tonal sphere that you guys are going to create uh, using uh, some pencil tone and directional application. So the first thing you'll notice is I'm going to start by using the side of my pencil, not the nib. I'm holding it at the very base and all I'm doing is applying that very uh, mid to light tone all the way around the outside of the sphere to begin with. I'm going to leave a small area of highlight in the top left hand corner uh, which will be where the light is hitting but I'm applying a fairly even mid tone all the way around the outside. Now what I'm doing is I'm applying more pressure just in the base of the bottom right hand side of the sphere applying a darker tone in that area. Remember to create that 3D effect and gradual tones, we want to build up layers of lighter tones into darker areas. Pause the video here and complete the tasks that have been demonstrated so far. So once you have that base of a tone, you're going to blend these together. You're not going to use your finger, however. What I would like you to use is either a cotton bud or a tissue on the end of your finger. The reason we're not going to use our finger is it can leave like an oily smudge mark, and using these cotton buds makes it much more precise. I'm going to start to work around the lighter areas, just blending using a fairly light to medium pressure. Blending them round, you can see that I'm still following the shape of the, sh of the sphere, blending those lighter tones together, starting with the lighter tones. Now in the speeded up area, you can see that I'm starting to blend those darker tones together and working in the darker areas. Again, applying a slightly heavier uh, pressure to make sure that those tones are all blended together. What you'll be aware of is that the cotton bud will pick up uh, areas of darker pencil tone in that area onto the cotton bud so be careful when you start applying that to the lighter areas ensuring that you only use that side of the cotton bud to uh, blend tones in those darker areas. So pause the video here and blend those tones together using a cotton bud. Now you've done that, what you're going to do is you're going to use your pencil to work back into some of the darker areas using the nib rather than the side. Again, applying in that directional manner in an informed way around the very far base right of the sphere to create those higher, darker tones. Really applying a nice heavy pressure here, but you can see that as I start to work out, I'm going to start to lift the pressure to blend those tones together in a more gradual way and a bit more of a gradient. Pause the video here and add those darker tones. So now you've got a sphere with some highlights, some mid-tones and some uh, darker tones in there. You're going to start to work on the area that the sphere is sitting on. Uh, we know that the light is coming from that top left direction, which is why we've left those areas of highlights and those areas of shadows. And that will mean that the sphere will actually cast a bit of a dark shadow to the bottom right. I'm going to use the same technique I used at the start. So I'm using the side of the pencil to create a light to mid-tone in and around the sphere. Again, in a directional way. So I'm going across the page from left to right. Uh, not going up, up and down, not in a sphere, spherical direction. And now all I'm doing is increasing the pressure just in, and layering it up in that bottom right area of the sphere where we know the shadow would be cast because the light is coming from the top left. So just by adding uh, that darker pressure using my index finger a little bit lower down the pressure, uh, lower down the pencil, I can add that darker area of tone to the table itself which will make it look like the uh, sphere is sat on top of it. I'm going to keep working into that area now again in a directional manner and then again I'm going to use the cotton bud to just blend those areas remembering to use the lighter side of the cotton bud for the lighter areas and then moving gradually down. 
Now what you can see here is that obviously the graphite has come on, so I'm not going to use that now because I'm going to use it uh, come into the lighter area. So I'm using an area of the cotton bud that hasn't been used yet. So I'm back onto a plain cotton bud or a brand new cotton bud, and I'm just going to blend all those tones together to create a nice smooth gradual tone. Pause the video here and start to apply tone to that base area. Once again, I'm now going to work with the nib of the pencil into those darker areas exactly the same way that I did with the sphere, but obviously this time we're going to concentrate on the bottom right area of the table. Again, you can see that I'm changing between using the very nib and using the side just to apply those darker tones in larger areas. But again, you can see that it's all directional and it's all purposeful. Pause the video here and just had those little darker areas in the bottom right of your sphere. Okay, final steps now. So we've got the tone in and we've got those lovely areas of light tones. We now need to do the background uh, or the top area of the background. And again, we're going to use exactly the same technique, except this time we're going to use a very, very light pressure. So we want the top to be uh, much lighter. So you can see that on the video, you can barely see the tone that I've applied. Remembering not to use those dark areas of the cotton buds to blend together. So I've seen, you've seen that I've used a fresh cotton bud there. And I'm just going to work around in exactly the same way that I did before. Applying those pressures. Remember, there's no dark tones. So there's the success criteria once more guys on the screen. Uh, good luck with that and I uh, can't wait to see what you come up with.